West Legend Jim and Checkmate Blake uh, crash the Wrath of Cortex Part Eight. We are here in the Fifth Warp Chamber, and we are going to go after the relics that are here, starting with uh, Crash and Burn Level Twenty One. And now these are going to be some of the hardest relics to get by themselves, uh, just to get a relic in them to try to get through the entire level and to get the relic. Uh, crash and Burn. If you learn the level, won't be that difficult. Uh, the same with Gold Rush. It, well, that one can can be difficult, and it can't be, and, and, and sometimes it cannot. It, it, sometimes it'll be easy, sometimes it won't. It, but it just depends on how much you like the level and how well you can get through it. Uh, but the uh, other levels, like uh, Cortex Vortex, and other levels, uh, and then level 23 and 24, will be more difficult by, by far. Uh, just, just because of what you have to do in them to get through there. I'm sitting there taking my time too much through there. You, you, you don't want to stop as much as I, as much as I, I have, while trying to go after the the relics. You know, uh, you don't want to stop nearly as much as I do. Uh, you never want to come to a complete standstill for no reason if you don't have to. Of course, there are times when you do need to, uh, but they are really few and far between. Uh, like a like a section like this, but even then, you can just uh, you know either either waiting for, for one of the platforms to come up to you or trying to get across through a section like that. You may want to uh, use the uh, crash dash what you know in while. While jumping across those platforms, I usually don't because it it seems like it more often than not it will mess you up. Uh, I've talked about it with Coco. It r really seems to do it really bad with her, but also with Crash as well. Now I'm pretty sure if you fall in that lava, you will die. I I don't know for sh sure really, uh, but I just suggest being cautious. You know, you, you do have two masks going going through here, so you don't really have to stop as much. You would have more, you know, if you don't get messed up through that section. Goals okay. You really have to get the timing down right, and uh, you really want to come in here with two masks as well, just so you can have three masks, uh, at least through two of those, through, through I guess three of those sections really. The, the section with the rocks, you don't want to be slowed down by it too much. Not too bad, about three seconds slower. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to go into every single level that you're on foot with at least two masks so that you can get three masks early on. Even the swimming levels, even the, even the levels that you start out with, uh, the submarine on like uh, uh, level 19, you uh, definitely want to have two masks just because it's so, so much easier when you have two masks uh, to start, to start a, a level. Just because you don't have to worry as much, you don't have to uh, be be cautious like you normally would have to if you if you didn't have the two masks. And you see, you get two masks. Uh, you get a mask on your face here. I don't think it actually makes you run faster. I'm not 100% sure though. It does because it doesn't. And the reason I say that is because since it doesn't make you uh, climb around faster. Oh crap! Uh, because it doesn't make you climb around faster. While hanging from the uh, from those metal, from, you know, from those ceilings where you can hang on, that's why you know that's why I say it doesn't it doesn't appear to, but I, I could be wrong. No, I I really don't know. Uh, it, it like I said it doesn't appear to because you know so you can see how fast Crash is running by himself, and it uh, doesn't seem to do a whole lot for him. Now the hanging sections through here, you definitely want to s slide, jump whenever you can. But uh, through a section like that, and here, you can't. You can't because there's no way to get around the boxes. Going for that time uh, may seem like a bad idea, but at, it's actually a pretty good idea if you, you know if you go ahead and do it. I don't think there's any boxes where you uh, where you have to hit the B button to go up higher, so you just keep keep mashing the A button to go faster. Uh, it's it's not really it's not you know really fast, 
or anything like that, but it does help if you, uh, and, you know, if you continue to match the A button, it definitely makes you go a lot faster than you would normally. Here is a section where you can, uh, use that, you know, use a slide to get across a pretty wide section of that, and then it makes it just go a little bit faster. As I said before, you don't want to jump around too much, but, you know, to dodge, the, like, the donkeys and everything like that, you, uh, it, it doesn't hurt to to, different, to do different things like that. And thankfully, you can uh, grab two masks, or you can grab another mask on your face if you already have one. Uh, that's definitely something very useful. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, that, that sucked. <laughs> but y you can actually cut uh, cut that corner off, and you want to be careful there because you, you, you can't fall. Crap. Well, I was, I was trying to keep from doing that, but... Yeah, see, the, that, that just stinks because, it, I, well, it, it, would, it wouldn't really help. It would keep me from having to... Uh, to jump off onto the scorpions. Thankfully, you you don't fly off uh, when you you do take damage like like you would in other other games. Crap! I hate going into going into the dynamite sections uh, without any masks. And we'll save these for the uh, for the what do you call it? This thing up here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and run and see if we. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Definitely didn't get through there quite as fast as I could have. I messed up quite a few areas, but you know, I didn't mean to lose that uh, that second mask. I could have used it for that uh, line of. Uh, line of nitros at the end, so medieval madness. Yeah, yeah this, is, this one's gonna be tough, but it won't be nearly as bad because you don't have to go along the uh, se second route like we would have to if we were playing the level uh, normally, and we could just bypass that area completely. So it'll make it a little bit easier going through here. So just remember which side the clock's on. There we go. So, learn from our mistakes in Bamboozled and uh, Eskimo Roll, and try to get a whole bunch of time boxes. That's about the best thing I can suggest to try to get a good score, is just to keep getting time boxes, especially with a level like this, where there's not a whole lot of sections where you can run at really high speeds. Uh, so you really need the, the the ability to, you know, to stop time as much as possible, and so that and that will really help you out if you, you know, if you can do that. But you also want to be careful because of uh, the different traps and everything that are around and the hazards like Tiny. That, that Tiny there, when he's right there, won't bother you uh, at all. You know, you should. Be, it should be very easy to get around him, but the other time it's up, up farther uh, ahead will mess you up. You want to run along this like you, you want to run along up here just because it's a lot faster, and you won't get caught and get shoved down, you know, down there, which is a uh, dead end and it's just a lot slower. So you definitely want to be careful when doing that. Let's see. Now here you want to try to get to the right side uh, because this is a lot faster. Oh no! I was trying to get up there onto that platform because there's some time boxes up there that you could really use. But <sighs> that stinks. Oh well. We'll just try it again. I kind of rem remember the layout, layout of all the boxes. It, it still doesn't help the turning uh, with with the alpha sphere, but it. I, I kind of remember the layout of all the boxes now, so I can try a little bit better, or tr try a little bit harder to get a whole lot more bo uh, more boxes. I think I'm about three seconds slower than I was last time, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 
again, you shouldn't have any trouble going around through there. Here, try to ride it. Try to ride it the entire way, but if you can't, you know that's still, still fine. Whatever, whatever works to try to get you up, up here. And, ah, messed it, messed the timing up for this. You can actually, like, like I said, it, it is very timing based. You have to get the timing right for everything, or it just won't work uh, as well as it needs, as it needs to. to I hate when that happens. Like there is no way you can stop yourself if you're if you go too fast and you're heading towards the side. There's no way to to slow yourself down or do anything. You're stuck and you have to just deal with it. And this level is really bad about doing it. It's about the only Alta Sphere level that will uh, get you caught like that more often than not. second box. Those giant wheels I don't think will kill you. I just think I think they will just throw you off uh, or have a chance of throwing you off into into the right side which will push you off into I believe it's either a dead end or a section that will kill you. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but it is, you know, I, I don't like I said I don't think the wheels will kill you. It's just something that I had uh, forgotten to, to mention before. A little bit better than last time, so maybe we can get the timing right for everything. And you may want to take it a little bit slower down, you know, while traveling through here. Of course, maybe not not quite that slow, but you definitely want to take it slow through here. Uh, this sucks for having to wait so long. Maybe these boxes better be worth. I don't I don't remember. Exactly. Not worth the 10, 10 second wait it took. Not by a long shot. But it did get me up here a little bit faster, so maybe it was worth it in the end. You know, I don't know. Like, the clock stopped for quite a while, so maybe it was worth the wait. You know, it was, I, I really don't know. I didn't expect it. And that, that's just the timing thing again. You know, there was a. I could have made it a lot faster. Uh, had I, uh, you know, found out the timing for it a little bit better. Now this you want to be very careful because you can't uh, go really fast. Oh, wow. Crap, I went the wrong way. Okay. Now this will kill any any hope of getting a good, uh, good relic if you happen to go the wrong way, even once, you know, it, it, it. are you kidding me? Yeah, I definitely hate this level, by, you know, this is my least favorite level in the entire game by far. Trying to get the relic here is bad, like, you know, like just even getting a regular relic is tough. and it didn't kill me, so I didn't, I, like I, I said, I didn't figure it would kill me, but I just wasn't 100% wasn't sure. But it can easily throw your timing off if you're not prepared for it, so you do want to uh, be careful while running around the wheels. No, what the heck? I got... I don't think there's any way to save myself. Even if I was, yeah, say there's no way to save myself.
the wheel, the only bad thing about the wheels is they will mess up your momentum and can slow you down significantly. Uh, you know, I, I'm because I got hit by that wheel, I'm going to lose quite a bit of time going into the uh, this section. You know, I'll, usually I was losing my time about on that second slope. Well, you know, I, I lost a little bit sooner than that. Sat, you know, and uh, that's just the kind of the bad things about getting caught. Uh, caught out by that kind of stuff, and I'm going slow through this section, which means I'll probably die through here because I'm carrying too much speed. No, maybe this is uh, now. There's no way I'm going to wait and make it 34. Let me see. Two, three, four. Well, I guess it it is worth the wait. That's good to know. And you know how long the clock stays frozen for. So it is worth the wait to go along that other area. And to try and get that uh, time, you know, the, all the time boxes up there. Well, that's good to know. I mean, that, that's, just what, that's just what you have to do, you know, trial and error stuff. Really. I, I really hate this maze. It's always, uh... I mean, I'll just be happy with any type of relic. Doesn't matter to me at all. Okay. See if we don't magically die again. Now I'm sure there are some boxes and everything back the, uh, to the to the right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go this way to save a whole bunch of time. Yeah, sapphire. I knew I'd get sapphire, but. At least I got the relic and I'm done with that level. That is a pain in the rear level. By far, like I said, my least favorite level in the entire game. Without a doubt. Haha, <laughs> 110. Uh, crate Balls of Fire isn't going to be fun, but it shouldn't be too hard because this level is a lot shorter and a lot easier than... Uh, Droid Void is. You just have to go through the chase section, and that's not going to be that hard. Uh, going through that section. Oh, wow. There we go. Now, you can either, either save these, you know, use these now, or save them for the, uh, uh, nitro activation switch at the, end, you know, at the end of the level. It's really up to you. Uh, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot. You know, I mean, it's four seconds that you'll either use now or you'll use later, and it doesn't really uh, affect you either way. I forgot that was uh, one of those sections. You definitely want to come in here with uh, two masks as well. It'll it'll make it a lot easier. You know, going through going through here if you do. quite a bit of time by doing using a slide move and you always want to check the bottoms of the oh crap ah I forgot that, that was a I tried to do the double jump thinking you know oh well, I'll be fine there's uh there's nothing above my head there, there yeah there's nothing above my head that's gonna screw me over well that uh that ceiling was there Uh, but yeah, you know, looking at the floor under, under you know, whatever, uh, the floor right underneath the crash whenever you're going into a section like this, that will definitely help. Because the minute you see a shadow, you want to immedi immediately hop down uh, so that you can... Oh, come on, what the heck? I, I will definitely say I, I hate the double jump system in this game. It is by far the worst double jump in you know out, out of all the entire crash series I mean it is a terrible 
you know, for you to be able to, to do what I just did and potentially screw yourself over just by double jumping, like, you know, there's no reason for that. You know, that's a terrible, terrible design. And that's, you know, you want to have uh, masks coming into this section, obviously, just because you're not going to be able to see what's in front of you at all times. Ah, I did that one to myself. I'll definitely say the last three levels, uh, you know, of the fifth warp room, are by far some some of the hardest levels to get uh, platinum for or any relic for. Having to stop for this. I mean, I, I know you can't step 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 on the sides of the platforms, but, I mean, there's really no reason to, because it's just it's such a small uh, thing that you have to land on, that it's, you know, you can't uh, guarantee that you'll land on it, and so there's really no point in, you know, doing that. But come on, I, I don't have time, you know, I don't have time just to shoot that thing, I gotta be able to jump over it. But maybe I won't lose the mask. Really early, I know where the, I know about, you know, of course. Or maybe I won't die here in this first rest, rest area. Yeah, maybe. I, I see you have a mask. Have a, you know, even if you didn't bring any masks in here, you'd still have the masks that you'd have here. It doesn't seem like the uh, the fireball will activate uh, exclamation boxes. Right? That is interesting. I've never actually thought to, to check for that kind of stuff before. Just remember to try to get every single box you can, or all the time boxes uh, that you can. Are going along through here. Be careful on the. Oh, so you can actually jump on their heads. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, crap. <sighs> What's not cool is going into this section here. said you can't use the crash dash while in the mech suit so uh, you know there's uh, there you don't gain any benefit from from doing that just the on foot sections of the level is where you'll gain the benefit from I mean like I said that level is definitely very hard to get platinum for just because of all the hanging sections and you lose so much time uh, going through there uh, through all the all the hanging section you know and the uh, platform, the tilting platform sections. Uh, you lose quite a bit of time there as well, and just different little things like that. Uh, you have to have everything go just right to be able to get to be able to get a platinum usually. And more often than not, that that kind of stuff doesn't really happen. But uh, anyway, so we're going to Cortex Vortex. See what our time was about, in about seven seconds. Probably could have picked some time up in uh, the platform section, the, the tilting platform section. Maybe uh, there's not not a whole lot I could have done in the mech section. Maybe if I hadn't have tried to shoot those robots, that might have knocked off a few seconds. You know, you you, you never know that kind of stuff. To be totally honest. Now this will definitely help you out in the long run. If you go ahead and just uh, shoot it from, you know, far away. Uh, 
uh, you know, from, from here. I don't think that's a map. I don't, I don't think that box is anything of any importance, so you don't really have to worry about uh, saving it. Don't worry about that box right now. You know, it's not worth the risk. The risk. Ah, we'll just hit it and see what that is. It's, so it's a two-second time box, right? I guess you can use it as a uh, trampoline of sorts, so I guess it is kind of useful. Through here, you don't want to use the crash. You uh, definitely don't want to use the crash dash just to make it easier on yourself. Want to have three masks coming into this section? Oh, really? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the way the, the floors are made or what, but they kind of have a an angled ends to them, like, the, they're not flat squares, they're kind of, they're, uh, they have little slopes on the end, the very edges of them, and, I'm, and I don't know, but I think that may affect how, uh, you know, how you walk on them, if that, like, if that increases your chance of perhaps falling off, or, you know, I, I really don't know, but it's, it definitely seems to. And just doing doing little things like that, you know, like sliding through there will s help save a little bit of time. Anything that can help save a few seconds will definitely help you out in the, in the long run. But I definitely, I don't, I definitely don't suggest trying it uh, when you don't have a mask on. Come on, really? You don't even give me enough room to get by, you know, like how in the world do you expect me to, uh, get across, you know? have to be careful, you know, doing the Death Tornado spin for a long period of time, just because of how much it it can slow you down while using it, so you definitely want to be very careful, and be, uh, in pick and choose when you, when and where you want to use it, uh, that will definitely, that will definitely help you out in the long run. through here will definitely help, and because you have the crash dash, you can uh, make it last a little bit longer, of course you really don't need it, but yeah, I guess you do need it going through here, don't you? And I don't know if that time box would have helped work, or, you know, work better here, or if I would have got it at the start, you know, I mean, you never know, but I got a sapphire, but I don't care, I got it, I'm done. And now I can go after the gems that I didn't get, and I have to go back into Cortex Vortex for the side gem. 105 for a gold, yeah. Okay, so we're going to uh, Wizards and Lizards. We'll try not to die this time, and we'll see if we can get to a to the death route here. Just uh, go through. Don't worry about a whole whole lot of things, you know, I'll just try to bypass as much as I can, we don't need any lives, we don't need any boxes, just get to the death route and get out, uh, make sure you don't hit the uh, clock because it doesn't activate the thing, and use the crash dash to help, you know, get you there faster, don't worry about any, any of the boxes except for that one, that will definitely help. I don't know, it, it seems like it, uh, it's, oh crap, come on, run, 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 
It does seem like it, it is making you move a little bit faster. Or maybe that's just the, uh, or the crash dash compared to the regular run. Yeah, I'm not a hundred, I'm not a hundred percent sure, to be honest. what it looks like kind of uh, you know they took elements from I guess the, uh, the gauntlet and used it in here except that uh, that's for, that's in a later level I believe uh, a later medieval level oh crap Thankfully, running into the the nice where the shields don't seem doesn't seem to hurt you at all. But it's you know it just it just stinks when you run you run into those guys that just slow you down so much. It just uh, it's not that uh definitely I definitely don't like those you know I, I like that they don't hurt you uh, if you run into their shields, but they're just a pain in, a pain in the rear when you have to deal with them. Anyway, so now we'll go into uh, the compact reactor, and I don't and I don't know why Crunch's face keeps uh, going dark, dark four. I you know, I'm not 100 percent sure. And if you notice the screen for the 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 levels will actually follow you around if you jump. Uh, I don't I haven't pointed it out I haven't pointed it out before, and I just noticed it myself. Uh, again, you know I've I've seen it before, but that was the first time that I noticed it while doing this let's play. And in the next level that I go into, I will uh, make sure to show it off. Because uh, I'll be going into level 8, and that is facing the screen, so you'll be able to see it tilt up when I jump up and use the uh, a Death Tornado spin. You'll, you'll see it be able to move up and down and all that. But uh, anyway, so. I guess the uh, just takes a, takes a little bit to load. Anyway, so bypass this. You don't have to. Uh, the only way you can hit the clock is if you lean. So if you, as long as you don't lean, you don't have to worry about missing the clock at all. And then here, you just want to go along this path. Once you have the yellow gem, you know you, you can't you can't go along this path unless you have the yellow gem. And then all it is is just dodging nitros. Uh, just, there will be a few pieces. Of there may even be a few uh, regular boxes, but I, I don't think so. I believe the rest of it's uh, the most of the the, all. It is is just the uh, nitro crates. Ah, uh, crap! I definitely hate that that turn, just because they throw you in there. With, oh, really? They throw you in there without being prepared, and you definitely want to have a uh, few masks for this. I've try to get to get through here uh, at least one maybe two you know it, uh, it, I definitely suggest one but it's really you know two is really up to you if you have a hard enough time at the level you know you may want to go after two but remember if you do die I believe it's ten times in this game you will you will gain a, uh, a life or a, a mask if you die ten times in a row so it may be eight. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't uh, tested it like I did. I have with the uh, older Crash games, so I'm not a hundred. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, crap! I missed the timing on that one. Sadly, there's nothing you can do to make the minecart go faster. It only stays at, the, at that one speed. I don't believe 
leaning to the left and the right actually it slows you down, even though it, even though it looks like it does. I, I don't think it I don't think that has anything, anything to do with it. I was testing it while I was doing the relic here, and the, uh, whenever I would lean a whole bunch, uh, the time would stay the same whether I, I leaned a whole bunch or, or didn't. So I, I don't believe it matters. You know whether it, I don't believe leaning actually slows you down. I forgot where that was. I'm glad this is so close to the beginning of the level, but I just wish it was a little bit closer or there's a faster way to get here. Instead of keep doing you know, keep going through that first rail section over and over. I mean it's a nice way to keep to regain the lives you lose, but you know, it's, it just gets tedious after a while. And you're seeing the same thing over and over again. Ah crap. boxes along that way. <laughs> That's interesting as they changed the nitro crates to uh, time crates. And I've never seen that one that happen before. times was that uh, six maybe uh, get you know keep getting alive over and over I, I lost I have kind of lost count but I finally have a mask so I should in theory be able to uh, get across there now but I'll probably end up losing the mask a lot sooner than I would have you know how many how many tries have I done this this section and I've never got hit before but now that I have the mask with my luck I usually end up losing it uh, through the early section where I normally wouldn't, and then once I come to the section where I need the mask, I don't have a, I don't have the mask, and it's just uh, a pain. And then you know sometimes when I get the mask, I uh, somehow get a I can somehow make it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, how many times did I try, and I still didn't, and I, and I can never get past that section. I was even starting to die a little bit sooner and a little bit sooner, but then I get the mask, and then immediately I can get it. But that's usually my luck. Uh, but anyways, that's the first warp chamber clear. So then we'll go to uh, level 8, and you see the TV screen there. You can watch it, watch it follow me around. Uh, but it, it leans up and down and kind of looks at, you know, it, like, looks down and then looks up. See it, and you can kind of see it tilt up and down there. So I'm going to do this the same way. I'm just going to get get through it, get it done, not worry about the boxes or anything like that. You know, I'll get the lives in the sixth warp room. Not going to worry about that at all. Just get it over with, get it done, so that I can go on to do other other things. So you know, the other level or level or levels that I have to do. I don't remember exactly how what what I have to do to be honest. And they add, they actually added boxes. Added boxes for the time trial. I've never actually seen this or maybe they took boxes from somewhere and put them uh, here, you know, I, I don't I've never seen that done before either, so that's interesting. That's really interesting, but you know, if you when, when, if you have a bigger or I guess more memory space, you can do you can do different things like that. You know, the limitations that the uh, Naughty Dog had with the PS uh, One, you, know, you can only you can only do so much with it. Really, uh, 
that you know that they couldn't do something like this. And that is something else you can do. You can also use the uh, the, the what do you call it? This thing, the crash dash on the bonus round platforms and the death route uh, platforms as well as the gym route platforms. You, you cannot run off, you know, like you can't kill yourself while on any of these platforms, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, you just get to the... Oh, really? Crap. Uh, you know, you just get to the end. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, there's no way you can kill yourself. You can run, run around, you know, kick, do whatever. The only thing you can do, it, you, the only thing you can't do is spin. Uh, you know, that's still something you can't do. I'm not, even, I'm not sure if you can actually kill those cranes or not. I don't, I don't think so, though. Really? And now you, I'm not sure if you can do that with Crash, but I know with Coco you can actually... Uh, uh, affect, you know, judge how high she jumps by, ta you can either hold the A button down, or you can tap it, and we're going to let all that blow up real quickly, uh, but yeah, you can, you can either tap it, or you hold it down to make her jump longer, and that didn't help me at all, I did that to myself, but I'm worried about that nitro there, Now she's an angel. <sighs> Definitely glad that that's a gym route, not a death route. part is you know you can hear the end of you can hear the end of this death round it sounds pretty close but uh, you have quite a ways to go before you can get to it of course how did I know that was gonna happen If you haven't noticed, you can see Coco's uh, footprints on, you know, I guess, be I was going to say because of the rain, but it's not actually raining. Uh, but you can see that on uh, any wet levels and uh, Gold Rush, you can see that as well. Uh, and in the dirt, you can see Crash's footprints. I, I don't think you can see the they're both Coco's and Crash's uh, footprints in the snow, on the snow levels, you know, Avalanche and Arctic Antics. But I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know on all the raining levels you can see uh, both of their, their you know, feet prints. Tsunami, you can see uh, Coco's feet prints as well. You see that, you know, whenever you take a jump off anything, uh, there's water that comes up, so I guess it's supposed to be like it rained or something like that. Are you kidding me? I was right there. And that's the uh, Super Body Slam. That really stinks, I was right there, you know. Alright, so I guess you can't kick the, well, maybe you just can't kick the cranes when they are in, in a mid-attack or something like that. Dive off there, dang it. Instead of jump.
come on. What are you supposed to do there, you know? Not keep losing your masks over and over. And keep them till the right, you know, when you need them. <laughs> I gotta remember this. I don't have a death tornado to spin. All I got is a kick. No, I guess you can. You know, I guess with Coco you can kick, but I don't think you can spin the crash on the uh, gym routes and uh, death death routes and uh, bonus platforms. Here for a more powerful belly flop press A than the uh, B at the top of the jump. And then there you go, yay, finally done. How many minutes later? Oh boy. Well, that should be. Yeah, you see what the uh, more powerful body slam is. Uh, let me see, did I get all the gems here? Yeah. I got all the gems here. Yeah, okay, so I guess all I gotta do is just go, and go back into Cortex Vortex and get that uh, other gem. That'll be fun. Willingly going back into Cortex Vortex, that's always fun. Hmm. But you know, doing something something like this, you know, uh, having already done the uh, bonus bonus round, you can kind of get a sense of how fast you can actually go. You know, or what you can and can't do, of course. I did waste time going, you know, trying to get that, uh, get that life. So that did hurt the f the timing of everything. Like, uh, you know, it'll definitely be different than what it would have been if you had just went through the level. Uh, you know, if you had, if you didn't waste time going after individual boxes or slow down for anything. So the the timing and everything's going to be a little bit different than what it was before. So you can actually uh, uh, do a, a lighter hop with Crash. Uh, I figured you would be able to, but I just I, I thought I wasn't 100 percent sure. Thankfully, that's not a uh, death route. That is a gym route. <sighs> the spin's just about useless. this game. I get it doesn't keep you afloat for nothing. Because, I mean, you know, once you get the Death Tornado spin in Crash 3, that thing, it won't keep you afloat. You know, you'll, you'll have to hold it down to, to make it keep you afloat, but it, it'll, you know, you don't have, if you have the regular, uh, if you just spin once, it'll keep you afloat a little bit, unlike this thing. I mean, that thing's just useless. I know I said I, would, I wouldn't mess around, but I would like to try to regain some of my lives, but I'm not going to waste any time here. I'm just going to go. Are you kidding me? There we go. Alright, so this is the green gym path. Uh... These paths, are, you know, because of, because of what this level is made up, made out of, and all, all that kind of stuff, this is going to be pretty difficult. It's not going to be quite as easy as the gym path was in Crash 3. You know, definitely you can already tell just the different, the way that the traps and everything are set up. And then this thing. This is the big thing that will mess you up. You have to tiptoe all the way across this thing. And then you just have more and more stuff. 
stuff. You know, you, you can you can shoot it uh, some of them with the bazooka, and that may not be a bad idea. You can kind of tell the pattern that the uh, get, you know that the lab assistants are shooting in. But let me see if I can do something stupid here. Yeah. How did I know that was gonna work? That was gonna happen. And there's a life. As if you are having trouble with this section and you want to keep your lives, well, that's a great way to do it. You know, you'll gain 10 lives, or 10, 10 Wumpa Fruit, or, you know, 10 plus Wumpa Fruit right, as you go along through there. As well as a one-time life use, you know, you you will, you will get a life at least, you know, one, one time. But I believe if you shoot, if you shoot nitros, you can slide, double jump, and then glide, uh, you know, uh, spin glide all the way across to the other side. But I don't remember for sure, uh, to, you know, to be totally honest. And uh, it, it may no, it may it may not be a bad idea, uh, especially if you have trouble with the tiptoe. You know, you just can't keep doing it for a long period of time for whatever reason or you just can't do it because you know the Z button is messed up. Uh, that that is a that is a good alternative because you know if the B if the, the Z button is messed up on the controller you're using there's you're gonna have a very hard time completing the game. Oh okay so I guess this is just I guess this is just a regular gym route. Oh that's kinda disappointing. They didn't bring the color gym route back, but you can see the one is set up like a letter N. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the times for the uh, levels that I did so far. There is no trivia for the individual uh, routes for the you know the gym routes and the death routes and all that. So I'm not going to worry about looking at that, looking for that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to go to crash and burn. Sapphire, 145. Gold, 120. Uh, doesn't seem to have a platinum. So oh, yeah, platinum, 115. Surprised it didn't. Uh, doesn't have a platinum time. Sapphire, 215. Gold, 145. Doesn't have a platinum on this website, of course it would. Again, here we uh, for medieval madness. Sapphire 135, gold 110, and doesn't have a platinum time. Huh. Uh, for crate, great crate balls of fire. Sapphire 220, gold 155, platinum 140. And then for cortex vortex. Sapphire 140, gold 105, platinum 58. So, uh, but anyway, so I thank you for watching. Uh, there won't be a challenge video because this, this was a relic video. Uh, next time we will go into the sixth warp room. So until then, later, everyone.